All right, hey, my name is Joe Hogan. Uh, I'm with the Deer and Deer Hunting.com Internet Pro Staff, and what we're going to do in this video is demonstrate to you the four basic events in the Hunter Deer Hunters uh, Fitness Assessment Test that we've developed. Uh, it's a real simple test. However, this video is not going to provide you with all the information you need. Uh, if you find this video, we strongly recommend you go to Deer and Deer Hunting.com, uh, go to the forum, and to the Hunter Health and Fitness Board. Uh, and this assessment test will be put up as a sticky so that you can read a full description of the assessment uh, and then make remarks, ask questions, and join in the discussion about it. Uh, again, there are four events. Uh, I will not describe the scoring of those events here. You'll have to go to the website to do that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and show you the first of the four. Uh, the first of the four events is going to be a one-mile rough march carrying 25 pounds on your back and 10 pounds in your hands. Basically what I've done is I've just taken a regular old uh, backpack I've taken a 25 pound weight plate and just wrapped it up in a sweatshirt to pad my back a little bit. And so that's going to be the first part of what I do is I'm going to throw that on. Make yourself as comfortable as you can because even though it's one mile, it's a little bit, uh, it'll wear on you a little bit. And then I'm just using two five pound dumbbells. It doesn't seem like much but basically it's going to simulate the equipment that you would carry in your hands, whether it be your bow or your rifle while deer hunting. Okay, just need any old treadmill. And the test is going to begin. I'm going to start out at a slow pace. And I'm going to crank up to a 4% grade. John will kind of come over here and just look at the controls. And then I'm just going to slowly bump the speed up until I reach my threshold pace. Okay, try to get as comfortable as you can. Most treadmills are standardized. Four laps is gonna equal one mile and you're doing this for time. Okay, obviously it's a little bit awkward with the weights. Sometimes you'll have to switch the weights. You wanna go faster, bump it up. But you'll be surprised with 25 pounds on your back and these weights in your hands at a 4% incline, it's gonna wear you out pretty quick. Again, one mile for time. Record that time. And then you'll move on to the next step in the assessment. Okay, uh, the first of the two strength assessments in the Deer Hunters Fitness Assessment Test is going to be a pull-up test. Obviously, this is intended to replicate the strain of climbing into a tree stand, uh, recovering from a fall on a tree stand, uh, the test is going to be quite simple. Uh, the only stipulations are that you work palms away rather than palms forward on your pull-ups. You begin from a complete dead hang and you return to a dead hang at the end of every rep. There is no time limit. You're going to do as many pull-ups as you can as long as you can hang on the bar. Once you let go of the bar, that part of the assessment ends. What I'm going to do is just jump on the bar and I'll demonstrate three good clean pull-ups so you can get an idea of them. I will also mention though, we don't care if you kip, if you want to use your legs or whatever you need to kick to get your chin up above that bar, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so again, I'll just demonstrate three pull-ups. Starting from a dead hang, chin above the bar and down. And once again, if you feel like you need to kip to get yourself up there, feel free. Basically everything is legal as long as your palms are away and you return to a dead hang, do as many pull-ups as you can in one set. Okay, uh, the next strength assessment in the test is going to be dips. Once again, has a pretty clear application to deer hunting should someone fall out of a tree stand or need to hoist themselves up over a ledge or anything of that nature. It's just going to test your upper body strength. Uh, obviously, you need a dip bar. You can find these even at a playground somewhere, uh, but most gyms will have some places you can do dips. Uh, dips are really pretty simple. You're going to start with your elbows locked out. You're going to drop down until your elbows break 90 degrees and you're going to extend all the way up. Just like in the pull-up test, you're going to do as many of these as you can without dropping off the bar. Uh, anything goes once you get on here. You can do what you need to do to keep going, but at the end of your, uh, at the end of your endurance, once you have to let go of the bars, that's when your test ends. Once again, I'll just demonstrate three good clean dips so you know what we're talking about. Okay, once again, if you want to tuck your knees, bend your legs, whatever is comfortable for you, that's fine. Okay, do as many of those as you can in one set. 
Okay, uh, the next test that we're going to do after we've done the dips is a test of overall abdominal strength, strength and basically it's a uh, plank and hold for time. Uh, plank is a real simple movement. You're just going to begin in a prone position. Draw your elbows up underneath your body. Uh, you want to have a stopwatch uh, so that you can monitor your time, how long you hold it. But essentially, you're just going to roll up on your toes, hold yourself in a neutral position. This is the plank position. And you simply hold this as long as you can. Uh, if you drop your uh, abdomen to the ground, obviously that uh, ends the test. Or if you need to come up and arch your back, that will end the test as well. Basically, you need to stay in this position and hold it for the maximum amount of time possible, up to uh, two minutes. Okay, the last uh, test in our assessment is going to be a test of leg strength, and we're going to do this by running what we call dot drills. Uh, they're a surprisingly good uh, way to replicate the power in your legs and the endurance in your legs that you might need to drag a deer. We can do this without any specialized equipment, so it's a pretty good and fair test. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to have a starting point, and we're going to go out five yards. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact, just get about five yards. What we're going to do is we're going to go down, touch the target at the far end, come back and touch this target. That's one rep. Okay, you're going to do those for 60 seconds and you'll do four rounds of that with recovery in between. What I'm going to do is simply demonstrate to you three reps. So that means up and back, up and back, up and back. That would be three reps. And I would do, in normal tests, I would do as many of these as I could in 60 seconds. So go ahead and uh, if you want to just drop the camera angle a little bit back, John, and follow me, and I'll just do three of them as fast as I can. Okay, so and go, and sprint down. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, once again, we invite you to go to deerandeerhunting.com. Go to the Hunter Health and Fitness Forum uh, and check out what we're doing here. I think you'll enjoy the test, and I really look forward to the conversation that springs from it. Also, I want to give special thanks to Fusion Fitness in Indianola, Iowa, for giving us the opportunity to use their facilities. And uh, good luck. Thank you.